time for another Sunday drive. Come on, let's go. So, today is not Sunday, it's Saturday, and I'm headed in to see my parents. Um, Scott is over in Eastern Oregon, and he's coming back tomorrow. And for those that caught on um, in a little slip that I made in my past video, um, one of my past videos, I talked about, briefly, about our new trailer. So, yes, we have a new trailer, and it's after purchasing it in early May, before all the calamities started happening, um, and we, took, we picked it up from the lot, and we took it to Eastern Oregon right away, because we knew that Scott and myself, Scott more so than me, um, was going to have to spend a great deal of time over in Eastern Oregon trying to clean things up after his father's passing. So, to, uh, tomorrow, uh, Scott will be home and he's bringing our new trailer home. And it has a new uh, cover, too. Um, we had a contractor build onto our shop a structure to cover the trailer and more. And, um, yeah, that's going to be really great because I'd like to keep this newer trailer nicer for longer. So, um, you know... It's been several months <laughs> of going through all of this stuff. Um, it's starting to get a little slowed down, but it's not over. It's not over by far. Um, when Scott's mom decides that she is ready to leave her home and go to an assisted living, which is her choice. It's by her choice. She doesn't want to live with us. She doesn't want to move from Hermiston. And, um, so, it's all up to her how long she wants to live in that house and, and have to deal with a bunch of stuff that kind of difficult in her medical condition. So, by the way, if you're tuning into my channel for the first time, welcome to Oregon. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. If you like rain, you're gonna love it. I, I've been really thankful that we haven't had as much rain as normal, but it's getting back into that season. And with all the nice weather that we had had, um, I'm, you know, I've got this little nagging in the back of my head that's saying, we're going to have a nasty winter. And I am not looking forward to that. But, um, you know, we've got things that are, that we've prepared for, for nasty weather, so hopefully it won't come to fruition and, and it was just a, you know, me being paranoid that it's going to be a nasty winter. Um, so, there, there is a topic that I want to touch on in this video. And I'm actually reaching out for help 
from anyone that might be able to help. Um, my mom and dad are in need of some medical supplies or medical equipment that isn't covered by insurance, believe it or not. It's something that they really need and insurance doesn't cover it. So, my dad has been giving me all of his sports cards that he, um, not all of them, some of them are um, given to his grandkids, but he's given me quite a few, and he had a very large collection, and, you know, I don't know enough about um, what I need to do. But I, I know that I want to help them out as much as possible. And I'm looking to raise about $10,000. Do we need more than that? Yes. But that will take um, care of one major item that they need. So, I, I'm thinking about, well, I know I'm going to sell them, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to sell them, and I, you know, I, I need to look into a whole bunch of stuff before I start selling them. I know that some are not worth that much, and I know that there's some that could be worth quite a bit, but the cost to go to a dealer in sports cards is so incredible that I, I just don't know. First, you have to get them graded before you can even sell them, you know, and, and the cost for grading a card is absolutely crazy, and we're not talking about, you know, a small collection, we're talking about a large collection. talking about thousands of cards. So if anybody has any um, ideas, you know, on the best way to do it, I would really appreciate that. Um, you can, you know, leave a message for me in the comments or you can send an email to my email address. And my email address is listed um, on my YouTube about page. So anyways, now that I've got that out of the way, I would really, really, really appreciate any help that anybody can give that would, you know, um, that would be very helpful. And uh, I really want to be able to help them out with this.
the area that we love to go to, but we hadn't been there in a few years. So, it was a, we were there for a purpose. Um, it wasn't our normal purpose of going down there, like on a vacation, vacation. We just went down there for a long weekend to go pick up some stuff and uh, bring it home. And Scott talks more about that on his channel. For those that don't know who Scott is, Scott is my husband. And he has his own YouTube channel. Um, and he has had a YouTube channel for like seven or eight years now. And uh, right now, his channel is mostly about our adventures um, in rock hounding, in camping, in traveling and things of that nature. So, and my channel is about travel and storytelling and, you know, assisting people that can't get out um, to see things, um, bringing them along on the drive with me and, you know, making everybody feel like they're part of the family. That, that is my, that's what I would like to do. There's been some hard times lately. Most of the time, you know, I, I like to joke around. I like to make people laugh. Um, I tell corny jokes. I tell stupid stories about things that have happened in my past, you know, and I hope that most of that brings a smile or laughter to each and every one of you. Anyways, uh, yes, a break in the rain. I know that's kind of that's probably annoying. <laughs> I'm watching the windshield wipers on the uh, television. But, um, or your phone or whatever you watch YouTube on. So, I'm excited about tomorrow. be a short visit with mom and dad today. It always seems like we're so busy.
that's a mile marker, that's awesome.